I'm a flirt. Soon as I see her, walk up in the club. I'm a flirt. Winging eyes at me when I roll up on them tubs. I'm a flirt. Sometimes when I'm with my chick on the low, I'm a flirt. And when she's with a man looking at me, damn right, I'm a flirt. What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I created it using this baby right here, the Huda Beauty palette, the Desert Dusk palette that she recently came out with that everybody in the mama is talking about. Yes, I used this today and whew, look at this heat right here. Like, look at that. Yes, that is just... Mm, it's so beautiful as soon as I saw like the layout and the colors that were in this palette I knew that I just wanted to create like this intense fiery red makeup look and that's pretty much what I've done today So if you guys want to see how I created this look keep on watching also if you do enjoy this video Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new you know what to do Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below and with that being said, let's get into it Alrighty guys, so for today I will be starting with the face So I'm firstly going to prime using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer Since I am going to be using the Fenty Beauty foundation today I felt like it was only right for me to use the primer as well I actually have been testing out this primer with a bunch of other foundations and so far so good so I've really been liking it so like I did say I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty foundation as well my one is in the shade 240 however this does kind of darken up on me quite a bit so I'm probably gonna have to really bring it down the neck today but regardless if you guys haven't seen my first impressions on this foundation I will leave a link for it somewhere on the screen right now but this foundation the formula and the finish of it just is amazing. Like I can set aside the fact that it doesn't match me like 100%. Alrighty, so now that foundation is on, it's time to conceal the darkness that I've got going on underneath my eyes. A lot of you guys, you know the drill, LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector is what I love to use. So I just take a swipe to each eye and essentially this is going to help brighten the area and kind of color correct any darkness that I have underneath there. And as you can see, I'm just blending that out with the Models Refer Airbrush Concealer Brush. And then to actually conceal, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I have two shades here. One is Light Medium and Light Medium Honey. I feel like mixing the two together kind of gives me that perfect tone of color that I want for my face. So as you can see, I'm just dotting those underneath my eyes and then running a little bit down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and on my chin to somewhat conceal as well as highlight the face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly set that concealer in place with the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. And I'm just using the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. As a lot of you guys would know, this is my all time favorite setting powder for setting any type of concealer, no matter what kind. It just does the trick and I literally have no creasing whatsoever when I use this finishing powder. For the rest of my face, I'm just gonna be going in with the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. I use the shade Petal and I'm using the Real Techniques Large Powder Brush just to pat that powder all over my face. Next up, I'm gonna get started on the eyes. So I'm firstly gonna prime the lids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This will act as my base, just to make sure that all the shadows do apply nice and evenly and smoothly. And I'm also gonna go ahead and set that primer in place with some more of that finishing powder I used earlier. Now that the eyes are all prepped and ready to go, it's time to dig into this baby right here, the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So the first shade that I'm going to be taking is this one right here. This is Eden and I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. This shade is pretty pale in a sense, so it will act as my initial transition shade. So as you can see, I'm just running that back and forth through the crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. So next up, I'm gonna be going into this shade right here. This is Blazing. As you can see, it's a very intense, warm, rustic orange kind of shade. And I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. What I'm gonna do with this shade is also apply it to my crease, but I won't be blowing it out as far as I did 
with that Eden shade. This is purely just to help define the crease a little more, add a little more color to it, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, just running that through my crease. Next up, I'm gonna go into this warm brown shade right here. This is called Oud, and I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. Now what I'm gonna do with this shade is apply it to the outer corners of my eyes and slightly drag it in towards the eye. This is gonna kind of define the eye a little more and just add a little more depth and darkness to it. So as you can see, I am just slowly blending it through that area. I have been eyeing out this beautiful red maroon shade right here. This is Saffron. So I'm going to be taking that and I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. Now what I'm going to do with this shade is essentially apply it to the lid and blend it into that Oud shade that is on the outer corner. This is honestly such a beautiful shade of eyeshadow and I feel it would be perfect for those of you guys who are going into the cooler weather if you want to have a really nice warm toned Full kind of look this shadow would be perfect I'm just going back in and kind of blending through the crease a little with whatever is left on my first blending brush just to make sure that everything is like you know nice and smoked out but I think like I'm kind of winging this look guys I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing right now but I think I want to use um, I think I want to use a little bit of the shade blood moon it's like this shimmery orange kind of tone right here and I'm just using the Sigma E55 eyeshading brush so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that kind of on top of that saffron shade kind of blending the two together and also be pulling it through to the inner corner of my lid that is blank as well alrighty so so far so good but I also want to have a little bit of a play with one of the topper shadows so I'm gonna take this one right here celestial and I'm using another Sigma E55 eyeshading brush. I'm gonna take that on my brush, spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus, and then go ahead and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. These topper shadows are essentially what they say they are, so you can apply them on top of other shadows to kind of give them a different type of look. So that's what I'm gonna do with this Celestial shade. As you guys can see, that Celestial shade has answered up times 100. Like, it just adds that pop of shimmer to it like i don't know as i'm like moving my head the eyeshadow shifts as well and it just whoo it's doing something for me like i am obsessed with it but i actually want to add a little bit of purple into the look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the amethyst shade which is pretty much just a really bright matte purple shade and i'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my crease just a little bit, just a teensy bit, to kind of add a little more purple to the look. Because it is looking very red at the moment, and I just want to add something a little bit different. So I'm just using the Zoeva 232 Classic Shader. I'm taking the shadow on the very end of the brush and just lightly dragging it through that area. So my lids are pretty much done. Now for the bottom lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and take that blazing shade and I'm going to use the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush and I'm just going to run this along my bottom lash line and really smoke it out. I'm also going to go into that Oud shade once more and I'm using a Sigma E30 Pencil Brush. I'm going to run this along my bottom lash line once again but I'm keeping it much closer to the lashes just to really help define the eye a little more. I'm also just going to take a teensy bit of that purple amethyst shade once again. There she is. And I'm also going to run that along my bottom lash line just to kind of tie in what's going on on the lid with the bottom lash line. Now for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to try something a little different. So I'm going into the shade Twilight right here, which is essentially a topper, but I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus just to kind of help it, you know, pop a little more in that area. And this is going to act as my inner corner highlight. So if I'm just going to give my lashes a quick curl and a coat of mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara because I will be applying falsies. Now the falsies that I'm using for this look are of course the Queen Bee Lashes from Coco Lashes. You guys know that I use these all the time but for a look like this I feel like they're perfect because they're super long and wispy and full but they're not too overbearing where they'll take over the look and kind of cover up what you've done on your lids. So that's why I really like them. So now that the eyes are all done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So I'll be going into this shade right here from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. So you know the drill, just run it along my jawline as well as carve out my non-existent cheekbones. And I'm also gonna go ahead and contour my nose with this as well, but I'll be using a different brush. 
Now to bronze up my face, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and the brush that I'm using is the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour. So I just like to run this all over my cheeks as well as the perimeters of my face just to give myself a little bit of colour and warmth to my face. Next up for blush, I'm going to be going in with the shade Exposed. This is from Tarte. This is one of their Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes. This is a very neutral tone blush so I feel like it would be perfect for this look. The brush that I'm using to apply it is the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is of course highlighter. So I'm gonna be using this baby right here. The packaging itself just gives me life every single time I look at it. So this is Fuego from Dose of Colors. It was a part of the Desi X Katie collection. And to apply it, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 Highlighter Brush. I'm also gonna take some and apply it to my brow bone since I have not put any type of highlighter there just to kind of amp up the eye that little bit more. Now for my lips, I'm firstly going to line using this lip liner from Inglot. It's in the shade number 854. Pretty much just going to outline my lips with this. And then for my actual lip color, I'm going to be going in with No Shade from Dose of Colors. This again is from the Desi X Katie collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly dab that color all over my lips. So there you have it guys, this is the final look. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit the little red button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will list everything that I used in this video down in the description box below where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you wanna catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, I want Snapchat pretty much all day, every day. So if you want to add me on there, you know where to find all of that good stuff. Before I go, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what other kinds of looks you would like to see with this baby right here because I'm so excited. I really actually want to do a tutorial using retrograde because I mean, like, do you see that right there? Yes. So don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.